Hello and welcome. In this part of the tutorial, we're going to look at adding live transcriptions to the user interface. So to start, we're going to click on the MetaHuman and edit the MetaHuman blueprint. In the last part of the tutorial, we added the Convey Chatbot component. Now we need to scroll down in the Details panel until we see the Events tab. Here we have a set of very useful events that we're going to talk about in this video. Let's begin with the event on transcription received. As you are talking into the microphone to your character, this event will be repeatedly fired. Every time it is fired, it will capture part of what you are saying in the form of transcriptions. So to begin with, let's try to print the output of this event. We'll make the color yellow for better visibility. And let's make the duration 10 seconds. Compile and save the project. Hello there, how are you doing today? And what did you have yesterday for lunch? Hi there, I'm doing great. Yesterday for lunch I had a healthy salad, salad with, with grilled, grilled chicken. chicken. And you? So actually it wasn't visible here, so let's look at the output log. Going back to the editor, we can look at the output log down here. And if you scroll up a little bit, you can see the output. Let's make this screen a little bigger. So you can notice here that it continuously updates the transcription. Remember that the first part of our recording was, hello there, how are you doing today? Notice that the speech was captured incrementally. So it kept updating as more of the transcription was available until it finally captured the whole sentence. Our second sentence was captured in a similar way. Notice again how it keeps updating the sentence until the transcription is complete. Now, if you were to display this to the user interface, you can see that there would be an issue. That is, when do we know that the transcription is complete and it won't change anymore? As you can see from the output log, we had two sentences. It kept updating the first one until it was complete, and then below, updated the second until it was finished. So how do we determine when one transcription ends and another one begins? That's the first issue. The second is, how do we know that the second transcription is the final one? This might not be a problem for all applications, but for certain UI designs, this could be an issue. So going back to the event, notice that we have an output called is transcription ready. This is set to true only when the last version of a transcribed sentence is complete. To demonstrate this feature, we'll repeat the process, but this time append multiple variables. First, let's append the isTranscriptionReady value. Second, I'll append the isFinalBoolean variable. We'll talk about this in a moment. Let's clear the log and hit play. Hello there, how are you doing today? And what did you have yesterday for lunch? Okay, so if we go back to our output log, we can take a look at the first sentence here. As you can see, the transcription was initially not ready and not final. As it progresses down the log, you can see that the first sentence is now complete, but the transcription is not yet final. Remember the first boolean was attached to is transcription ready. So that means when the first variable in the output is true, the sentence is complete. Looking down the log a little further, we see the second sentence starting. And if we look right down at the bottom where it's finished, you'll see that both variables are set to true. That is, the isTranscriptionReady variable is now true for that sentence, and the isFinal variable is now true for the complete transcription. Before we add this to the UI, I want to show you a similar event, which is onTextReceived. This is similar to the onTranscriptionReceived, but it is actually for the character. So as the character is talking, this event will fire. So the output here is the text and the audio duration from the character. The audio duration is the time needed for the character to complete its response. Here again we have the isFinalBoolean, which is set to true when the character completes its response. I also wanted to include a note about this event. If you look back at the start talking function, you'll find that we had voice response enabled. But even if voice response is set to false, the onText received event will still fire, meaning that you can capture the text from here. But note that the audio duration will be zero since there is no audio coming from the character. So again, if voice activation is set to true, this event will run and the audio duration will have a value. We won't test this in the same way that we did with the on transcription received event. Instead, let's add a user interface widget. We'll use that to display all of the output information. 
So we'll go ahead and delete this part. And over here you can see that I've added a new folder to this project called Widgets. This contains a simple widget to display the output from our conversation. All of these files and assets can be retrieved from the link below in the description. Going back to the player blueprint, let's connect the event begin play to an instance of the widget that we just created. The name was transcription widget, so search for transcription underscore wb. The owning player will be us, and then this can be promoted to a variable, which we'll call chat widget. Now we'll add it to the viewport. When you hit play, you should see the small widget on the screen. So going back to the blueprint, let's highlight this section and add a comment. Something like add chat widget to player screen. Let's go back to the MetaHuman blueprint. When we receive a new transcription, we would like to access the player blueprint. Search for get player pawn and cast it to the meta player blueprint. Now we can access the transcription widget. We've added a new function here called add or update new chat bubble, and we'll attach that to the transcription widget. So every time we receive a new transcription, we'll add a new chat bubble to our widget. The name of the speaker will be the player, and the message will be the transcription. Since we're expecting a transcription message, set the is transcription to true, and then connect the is transcription ready to the Boolean output. And we'll do the same for the is final variable. So this is a quick way to add a custom interface to see the chat messages. Of course, you are welcome to use your own chat interface. This is just an example to get you started. We can use the same method for the text received output. But let's see what we have so far. So if we hit play and start talking. Hello there, how are you doing today? Okay, so I apparently... I'm doing... Okay, there seems to be an error. Looking at the output, yes, the transcription widget should actually be chat underscore WB. So if we try it again, hello there, how are you doing today? And what did you have yesterday for lunch? And was it a great day? Hello there, okay. I'm doing well, thank you. Yesterday for lunch, lunch I had I a have... turkey sandwich with some potato chips. It was a pretty good, good day, day overall. overall. Now let's do the same thing for the character. We can use the same components, so we'll just copy them down here, except this time the name will be the character, not the player. To get the name of the character, we can capture it at begin play. Remember from the last tutorial we had a function called get character details. We can hook that up, but we also need the character ID. We can get this through the convey chatbot object. Now we can access the character name and promote it to a variable. Just ensure that this is connected to the on success pin not the pin above it. So whenever this function is successful, our character name will be set. Now going back to our other function, we can attach the character name variable. Now hook up bot text to the message pin. And since this is not a transcription, we'll uncheck is transcription. Lastly, connect up the is final pins. Let's save this and give it one last test. Hey, how are you doing today? Hey there, I'm doing great. How about you? I'm doing very well, thank you. So, as you can see, we've assembled a user interface widget which can capture live transcriptions as well as the chat output. Before we end this tutorial, let's take a look at a few other events. Going back to the convey chatbot component, scroll down in the details panel and you'll see an on started talking event. As you might guess, this event is fired whenever the character starts talking. We also have an on finish talking event, which is fired when the character stops talking. You should also be aware of the on failure event. This event is fired when there's a problem, such as an incorrect API key, a missing or incorrect character ID, or any other similar issue. You can use this to invoke a backup plan. For example, the character could say something or the game could proceed in a different way. So this can be used as a failsafe to allow your game to continue even if there is an issue. If a failure does occur, make sure to check out your output log window. So going back to window output log, you can look here for any issues that might have occurred. If you need to contact us for support, it's helpful if you copy this log output and send it to us by email so that we can help you track down the source of the problem. Finally, let's cover the on actions received event. This event is relevant to the Actions API. So for example, if your character is going to perform some action, this event will run. We'll talk about this in detail in a future tutorial, but for now you should know that these are related to actions. 
So for example, your character can grab a weapon, open a door, bring you something. All of these things are actions that fire this event. We'll talk about this more later, but it's related to the player blueprint. In the start talking function, there's a generate actions pin. In the case where there's a valid environment input and generate actions is set to true, we'll start to receive action events. For this tutorial, we don't have an environment. But for now, understand that an environment is a container that holds relevant objects and characters from a scene. As usual, for any questions or feedback, please contact us at support at convey.com.